Wow. Yeah, that's pretty desolate. Still have our inventory here of nothing but a gas can, so... I guess with that in mind, let's see where we can go. Maybe I should go get the gas first, huh? Since I at least have the means of doing so. What's over here to the right, or would that just take me... These arrows are a little confusing. I'm not exactly sure where each of these takes me. Like, where does this over to the right imply? Does it mean going that way? I don't walk. What about here? Okay, you do run over there, though, so... <laughs> Alright, this is just like the map in Monkey Island. Hopefully it doesn't get that slow and tedious. At least he moves reasonably quickly. Ridiculously quickly, even. Oh, cool effect here. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. Wonder why you would assume that it's full of... Well, I mean, I don't know we were told that, but... I've never heard of a big tank like that full of gas. That's kind of weird. The top of this fence is electrified. Ooh. Okay, probably don't want to climb over it then. The top of this fence is electrified. Oh, well, what's this? Signs. Oh, I guess there's just signs letting us know that it's electrified. The one nice thing about clicking on these is that I can tell what I'm trying to interact with. Well, if I'm just using hotkeys, I can't get to it from here. Can't necessarily tell. Tough looking padlock. Hmm. I don't suppose we can. I couldn't break that lock. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe we can kick the door open. I couldn't break that lock. What about the gate? Don't think so. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. Hmm. I hope the gate's not electrified. Well, it can't be. If it was, then you wouldn't be able to ever undo the padlock, right? Because the whole gate would be electrified. Anything underneath the gate? Nope. Okay, so we need a key or some other means of opening the lock. I'm guessing maybe her welder that we that was mentioned. So, I kind of figured that the most obvious one would be the one we come to last. Figures. We can't go to the right. We can go that one. foot. Okay, no. What's this thing? Yeah, what a desolate dump. Ugh. I hate to live in a place like this. We are going here, right? Yep. Ooh, that sounds like a welder. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very subcode wiring. <laughs> well, hopefully it's a welder. That'd be a little closer to what we want. What's this? Oh, a sandbox. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Why, this dog cra crap in a sandbox? You'd think that a cat would be more likely to do that. No thanks. <laughs> this sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Alright. What's this? It's a pretty small window. It's even sadder looking inside. That's hard to believe. Let's knock. Well, you think we just shout down the hole? I'll try that next. Actually, ooh, that was risky. <laughs> I was expecting a dog to chase us out. For some reason, there the dog hasn't started barking. It's locked up with steel brackets. What does that mean? It's locked up with steel brackets. Steel brackets. So, the, uh, do those need some kind of like? How would those be undone? I don't understand. What's what's here? Refrigerator. Where? We're a little in the way. It's hard, a little hard to tell what's what. Oh, that just looks like a cupboard to me. Ah, uh, this music. Ah. Uh. Anything in there? There's a nasty looking T-bone in here. Let's take that. I'm sure it'll be useful for the dog. Here we go. Close it. Come on this side. Can we open that side? Okay, it's all one refrigerator. Gotcha. Is this one of those singing trout things? I hate this those. Decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. That's one way to put it. His decor has a strong. Oh, that's what I was looking at already. I thought I was looking at the fish specifically. It. Oh well, cabinet. Looks like a cabinet to me. Well, <laughs> you do make a good point. Anything in there? It's empty. Oh. But there's something hanging on the door. Oh well, take that. Oh, what is it? 
Can I look at this? It's locked up with steel brackets. Eh. It's a lock pick. Oh, okay. I can right click on it. Cool. Maybe I, do I need just one or two lock picks though? Ah. 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 <laughs> Wish this gas can was full. This guy's got a all got a like a pseudo Duke Nukem voice. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Never know what could be important. So nothing really stands out in color like they did in like Primordy or something. Everything blends in pretty well, which could be a big problem later on in the game if I get confused as to what I'm going for. Hmm. What's this? Probably all that's holding this dump up. What is this thing here anyway? I can't even comprehend what that's supposed to be. Chimney. Huh. Kind of cool. Smells like burning metal down there. I can imagine. Maybe I should talk down the chimney. Hello. There we go. Well, you heard me. Briefly. Let's try again. Hello. Maybe I'll just shout down here, huh? Gotta get his attention somehow. I'm not putting my lips on that. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to get you to. Okay, clearly that's that's not what he's willing to do. Where's all that music coming from? Maybe I could... Maybe I should tap something on here. Uh, this probably isn't it, but... A lockpick won't help there. Yeah, I was thinking maybe you could, like, tap it on the metal thing and... Make some noise. It smells like burning metal down there. I use my I use my eyes to discover that it smells like burning metal. Hmm. No. Maybe give it a kick. Now talk. Hello. No, it's too slow. Oh, uh, how many? Like maybe if I keep doing this. I'll get his attention, but maybe not. I don't know. Quickly, while well, he's got his thing turned off. Hello? Okay, never mind. I'm thinking we might have to stop this by force. Clearly a wire going back here somewhere. Sandboxes, or sandbags, I mean. Was there anything in here that laid to those wires? It's probably behind the building, though. Not right in front, not right uh, inside it like that. Hmm. And I don't suppose I can use my lockpick on those brackets, can I? A lockpick won't help there. Yeah, I didn't really think so. It's locked up with steel brackets. And yeah, I definitely can't grab it. Did that do the trick? I'm not sure if that did anything or not. It's locked up. Okay, with steel apparently brackets. not. I'm still thinking we must have to weld through that, because how else would you open up steel brackets? That are, like, sealed or something. Yeah, it's just the door. I really feel like the right thing to do is to turn off his power. So he can't, so he stops welding and comes out to figure out what's up. Did I ever look down here? I think I did. Either someone's doing some yeah. welding down there, or we're talking. Yep. Okay. I was supposed to get stomp. Steel bars in the glass. Well, there's glass there. I guess it makes sense, but it just kind of looked to me like it was plain, just bars. Steel bars in the glass. Mm. Okay, well, let's come back to this a bit later. Seeing as I don't see any obvious means of doing anything with anything here, so let's continue on. See what else we find. I may well have missed something, but we'll discover that later. Hmm. This is pretty ominous. Hello? It, wasn't that guy Todd too? Was that guy we were just interacting with Todd or was this uh, unrelated? I'm, I don't know. I want to say that was Todd, but I guess I don't really remember why I would think that. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Yeah, I, uh, probably that won't work. What have we here? 
it comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Hmm. What's it do? Can you pull it? Uh. Hmm. Well, I suppose if you go over here. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he kind of face plants. Hmm. Do we have anything we can use with this? I don't. I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what to do here. Oh, I heard a dog there. What? Oh, well, did I pull it even further? Oh, that doesn't. That doesn't really do anything. Yeah, that's not gonna help. No. Try kicking this open or something. Ouch. Open up, Todd. It's not quite where I was talking about. I was thinking just... Whatever. Anything else I can interact with? Mm. I think it's the same sign, isn't it? Entrance. Okay, no, they are different. Alright. Well... Mm, wait, wait. Is down and over different? What's the difference? Okay, well, what would down be? Oh, alright, same thing. Never mind, then. Anything else I've been missing? Hmm. Now, well, let's try that lockpick. At least we've got a little something. If not, I'll come back and try looking at more of anything we can do there. I don't see anywhere else we can go or anything else we can interact with yet. But, you never know what'll change. Try a lockpick. There we go. Sweet. I guess I'm so used to single lockpicks not being sufficient from playing like the thief games and stuff that I figured I'd need another one. Let's take this. Just in case. Ooh. Well, hopefully no one comes out and gets pissed at us. Anything about the ladder? Okay, <laughs> let's climb it. Oh. Whoops. Uh. Just kidding. I was hoping that there'd be like a sign or something that would inform me of what the deal was. Uh oh. I don't know how we could have gone around that, really. <laughs> Nice one. Are they gonna relock it again, I wonder? They don't do a very good job of <laughs> searching the place. I guess we'll just go back and try again. And they didn't even care about the fact that it, the lock's been taken off. Oh well. It's open. So I can use that to lock something. Maybe I can go back and use the lock to secure that chain open. You think so? Maybe. Hmm. Let's see, well what if I use the T-bone? I, I don't know. That's not one of Meat's many uses. I guess I was kind of... I don't know, I had like this crazy idea of leaving the T-bone on there and having the alarm go off with the T-bone snake and somehow they'd I don't know, do something with the alarm because of that. I don't know. So is this all ladder? Whoop! Uh... Climb fast! <laughs> uh oh. We're in trouble. Who, me? <laughs> okay. I get the same fire for you do that. Sorry, boss. I got a second. <laughs> nice. Also, I I love how there's like this subtle futuristic setting here. I'm gonna go try using that lock to hold something open. But 
Yeah, I mean, because clearly this is the fairly distant future, and yet it feels in a way almost retro, and I love that. That's a neat combination.